Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing your downstream O2 sensor. The downstream O2 sensor is the one that's going to be located after your catalytic converter. The upstream would be the one that's closer to the engine. With that said, let's go ahead and find the connector for this. Generally, you can just squeeze right where my finger is here, and then you can separate this. If you can't, you could also use a small flathead screwdriver, carefully get in between this area here, and then try to wiggle it free. After you remove it, you always want to check your connectors and make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so we can move along to removing the O2 sensor up here on the exhaust pipe. Now that we've got that broken free, let's continue removing it. Now I'm just going to use my socket. I can completely remove this. Okay. Get out of the car. There it is, friends. Now we can get ready for our install. When you do this, you want to make sure that you completely screw in your O2 sensor before you go ahead and connect in the connector. While I'm doing this, I also want to make sure that I'm not twisting up my wires too much because I don't want to put a pinch on them or damage them in any way. Alright, so right there feels like it's pretty much bottomed out. I've crushed the gasket, so I'm just going to go a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and snug. Now we can go ahead and take the wiring for this. We'll bring it down and around the exhaust like this. We can connect it in. Listen for a click, give it a nice tug just to make sure it's secured. And now you're going to want to make sure that this is secured as well. There should overall be a clip that you can go ahead and put in here. And that's going to hold it so the wire isn't going to be able to hit up against the burning hot exhaust. Okay friends, we got the car back together. What do you want to do now? Now typically if you had a check engine light, you're going to want to make sure that you clear it. After that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test and make sure you don't get another check engine light. Other than that, thanks for watching.